my influences, I mean, they, they vary, right? I, I've been, I grew up with punk rock and stuff like that, and metal and uh, country. And Rockabilly was always there. There was always the Stray Cats, Brian Setzer stuff. I was always uh, fascinated with stand-up bass. And I just thought it was a great way to make money. <laughs> <laughs> was it? No, no. Playing, playing yeah. in a band is Bam. a complete fail. No, uh, we've always, uh, as far as music goes, I'm everything from folk music to punk music to heavy metal. And I've played in every kind of band, so I figured why not a Rockabilly band? Rockabilly is where all punks go to die, right? You gotta remember too, Rockabilly was the punk of that yeah, era. Yeah, it was considered punk. Yeah, that's it what was it was. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it was just it was like the devil's could, music. If you couldn't play Chet Atkins, you played Rockabilly. Yeah. One of the first right? big and you tours. Did it, and if you couldn't do Rockabilly sloppy, then you played Chet Atkins. One of the first big <laughs> tours with the Stray Cats in the 80s was with the Ramones. June 2011. Um, was it 2011? Yeah, I, was, I moved in with a, a fella and we were living together and I said, you had a stand up bass. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> yeah. We won't go there. At the but, dude yeah, ranch. At yeah. the dude ranch. It was uh, Aaron Young's house for wayward boys. Yeah. I lived there for a while. Um, and we, we sat around, we were watching some rockabilly videos and he had a upright bass and I said, why don't we try that? He said, well, he said, you know, I don't know. I said, well, I can get us gigs. He said, can you get us gig? I said, I'll call right now and get a gig. He said, okay, go ahead. I said, well, we need a band. He said, don't worry about that. <laughs> so, I, so I called, I said, okay, we're booked in, uh, uh, it was Canada Day weekend, June 30th and July 1st. Yeah, for Rock and Roll Weekend for in Rock the Roll, yeah. I think I was living in Ottawa, I was moving back. I was coming back to the Maritimes. And there, I didn't even know there was any real upright rockabilly players in Fredericton, and I'm seeing on YouTube these guys Especially doing... Especially of the aggressive nature that well, we do. Yeah, yeah, you guys are doing like Hank the Third and all this kind yeah. of stuff, Reverend Horton I'm thinking like in Fredericton, like that was never in Fredericton when I was there, so... Was we were pretty nervous about who was going to fill Aaron's shoes. But, uh, once you get on stage and you play music with people and it's tight and you, and you give somebody that thrill or that chill that they experience that night, there's nothing better than that. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are, there, there's, no, there's almost no better feeling than that. You know, there's a few that come to mind, but not very many. So that, I, think, I think it's an addiction. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's 100% an addiction to that feeling. Bye. 